Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be reading half, so the video is not too long, of one of my favorite picture books. It's called Finn McCool. And I usually read this book um, around St. Patty's Day, but since we were in school for St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to read it now. Um, while I'm reading this book, here are some things I want you to think of because next week we're going to be working with the story web with this story and hopefully you'll be working on one of your own. So here's the story web. So while I'm reading, I want you to be thinking of the title of our book, which is Finn McCool, the setting where the story takes place, um, the main event, your favorite part, um, the characters in the story, the main character, and um, who the author is. And I will tell you, oh, the um, author is Tom DiPolo. So that is the same author who reads Dragonona. And I know a lot of you really like that book. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start reading Finn McCool. And he is the giant of Knockmany Hill. In olden times, when Ireland's glens and woods were still filled with fairies and leprechauns, giants, too, lived on the fair Emerald Isle. One of the finest of those big folks was Finn McCool, who was wed to the lovely great lass, Una. They made their home on the top of Knockmany Hill. And there's the giant Finn McCool and his wife, Una. And that's their house. Now, as any good giant, Finn McCool had his work to do. So he was often away from home. Lovely Una didn't seem to mind, for there was plenty to keep her own hands busy. Spinning, knitting, and even giving a pretty touch to their great house. Life was very pleasant indeed. One morning, when Finn McCool was busy, working with his kin, building a causeway to Scotland, the world, oh, the word came that Cacullin was coming. And this is Finn building a causeway. And a causeway is a bridge. So he is working on a bridge. Cacullin was a giant too, and without a doubt the strongest in that part of the world. When he walked, the very earth trembled, and with one blow of his fist he had flattened a thunderbolt. So it looked like a pancake. He was so proud of that feat that he kept the thunderbolt in his pocket to show all just how strong he was. Every giant in Ireland had been given a good beaten by Cacullin. Every giant, that is, except Finn McCool. And Cacullin swore by the green that he would never rest, day or night, winter or summer, until Finn McCool was added to his list. So if you were going to describe Cacullin, what kind of words would you use to describe him? You can comment um, below this video and I'll comment back. So here's Finn McCool. Oh no, this is not Finn McCool, I'm sorry. So here are, is another giant. Here's Cacullin that he has beaten up. Poor guy. So far, Finn had been smart enough to keep moving about whenever he heard that Cacullin was in the neighborhood. But this time, Cacullin was sure to get him. So Finn left the causeway. What does causeway mean again? You can comment, see if you remember. And sped off for Knockmany Hill, his house and his darling Una. Finn, my love, said Una, greeting him at the door. What brings you home so early from your work? The chance to get a sight of you, my sweet thing, said Finn. Since he was as honest as the summer day is long, he added, and to keep out of the way of Cacullin, he's after me.
So that's Finn rushing home to Una. Una soothed her husband. She brought him his slippers and lit a pipe for him. She stirred up the peat fired so it would be cozy. Mm. Then she set down a huge mug of stout and cut a gigantic slab of soda bread for her dearie. Finn, husband of mine, enough is enough, said Una as gently as she could. For years you've been hiking around from one place to another to avoid this cacullen. Why, you even built our house high on this windiest of hills so you'd be able to spy him coming. You'll not get a moment's rest until you stand fast and face him. Aye, I'll be getting plenty of rest if I stand fast and he knocks me down. I don't have the heart to face a man who can make a young earthquake just with his walk and who carries a flattened thunderbolt in his pocket just to prove his strength. How do you think Finn is feeling right now? You can comment below in this video and let me know. How is he feeling? That the giant Kakulin is coming to get him. At that, Nakmeni Hill gave a little dance. He's coming, said Finn, his face turning a fine shade of pale green. Now hush, said Una, and give me some time to think. Do you worry that I won't do all I can to help you settle this matter once and for all? Una then worked a charm that fairies had taught her. She took nine woolen threads, each a different color, and braided them into three braids. She put one around her right arm, one circling her heart, and the third around her right ankle. Now, nothing she did could fail. Okay, I am going to stop right there. That is Finn McCool part one. And after below this video and when you're done, you can give me your predictions. What do you think is going to happen to Finn McCool? Um, and you can put that in the comments below and I'll read them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.